Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? Set my stuff aside. Uh, I wanted to do a video, and I, this is for my friend and longtime subscriber, Diggity Dave. Uh, well, Diggity Dave 83, I should say. And he left me a comment, and this is a couple weeks ago, and I, you know, kind of pushed it off to the side because, like, there's a music review, and sometimes music and movie reviews take a little longer than, uh, and book reviews take longer than like something I can do really on the fly, like a food or drink or like a thought off the top of my head or something like or a quick update video. So they get pushed aside somewhere and I get to them when I can. And he asked me, I, I wanted to show you this and see if you ever heard of these guys and see what you thought of them. Maybe you could do an album review for them. And he sent me a link to uh, the very first Metal Church album that they did. And yes, I have heard of Metal Church before big time. Actually, uh... Because I love the 80s and stuff like that. And uh, metal was really prevalent back then. And then, of course, 1990, 91 happened. And there was such an influx of metal. It oversaturated the market. And then all of a sudden, grunge came in. And grunge kind of wiped out metal, kind of. And then uh, eventually, you didn't hear that much about metal. And then grunge died out. And then metal came back, of course. Because you can't keep metal down. You never could. Well, anyways, the first time I ever heard of uh, Metal Church was uh, I had uh, I used to get uh, stuff from KTEL. And they used to have metal compilations. I got a couple. I remember I got one. I bought one when I was still in high school. The one that had uh, Heaven to Hell, a Black Sabbath. And then my friend Marshall Haig from school let me borrow a tape I made a copy of. And this is back in the old days. I just made a copy. I My sister had a tape recorder. I had a tape recorder. I just put the tape recorder and taped it off of her tape recorder or the other way around or something like that. And unfortunately, Marshall Hague's no longer with us. And rest in peace, he passed away last year. And uh, and they had some good songs. I can't remember. One of the, and then I bought a couple while I was in the Army. And one of those had uh, the one song from Metal Church called Watch the Children Play. Great song. I still... I haven't heard the song for a long time, but I still, parts of the song still resonate up here. And that's the first time I heard of Metal Church. And then while I was in the Army, I went in the Army, and then there's sometimes, you know, we talk about metal, and there's always, like, not a whole bunch of people, but sometimes there are uh, one or two people saying, you ever heard of a band called Metal Church? I said, hell yeah. And it's like, yeah, I, I really like Metal Church. I'm surprised they didn't get, they don't get respected or served. They're still a very underrated man. I said, I agree with you. You know, and after I got in the Army, I heard maybe one, of, I got in a conversation about Metal Church maybe once or twice with some other people. People don't talk about metal anymore because I was talking to this one kid. Uh, a while back at work, he made 21, 22. He never even heard of the band Iron Maiden. I said, yeah, there's some Iron Maiden. Like, who? Iron Maiden? Who the hell is that? And I was like this. Just like my one sister's friend, who's like 35, never heard of the band Foreigner before. I'm like, oh my God. Even though that's not metal, it's hard rock, but still. Well, on the way back to Metal Church, I get distracted. Uh, I remember they, I think they hit, hit it really big. They uh, got signed to Elektra and... I think 89. Some of these dates, I mean, I'm doing it from memory, so some of these dates might be wrong. And I remember buying, uh, oh, what the heck was the name of that album? I have it. Blessing in Disguise. That's the album. And it had the song Badlands on it. I think Badlands was probably their biggest hit song. And uh, I remember the video. The video was really cool. I still remember the video in my head. And then I know I was watching it because uh, a friend of my, a friend of my roommate's friend used to make uh, copies of uh, Headbangers Ball on MTV because when I was growing up I never had cable. We didn't have cable because we were out in the country so I didn't see Headbangers Ball until I was in the army. And sometimes he'd bring tapes of that and I'd make copies of the videos and then one was Badlands. And I remember I don't think my two friends didn't like Metal Church and then they were they were peeking on the video. There was a part where the guy starts playing guitar they're out in the middle of the desert, and he's just walking a different way, and the guy said, hey, dude, where are you going? I didn't think that was funny. It's a great video, an awesome song. That's the most memorable, uh, probably my favorite Metal Church song, but, I mean, they got so many other great songs. And like I said, watch the children play, and then 
I bought that album and I might have bought this one. I can't remember because a lot of my CDs got screwed up in customs and then the army had to pay for it. Uh, pay me back for them, which was a shame. But, you know, a lot of all my CDs from Germany got lost in uh, customs. Oh, well. And I want to go back to the review of the album from Metal Church. Because I get on a, in on a tangent and stuff like that. Describing it. And also I want to say, uh, I made made one to... I wanted to really say uh, thank you, Diggity Dave, for bringing these memories back. I miss the 80s. I really do, especially metal. And Diggity Dave's been a... He's been a subscriber of mine since sometime in 2013, I believe. He was asking me to do a serial review, even though I did that Return of Fruit Brute. That, and then I did the Monster Serials uh, last uh, Halloween. And he's been a cool... He's been watching my videos for a while. And he has his own band, too, that plays some really good music on his channel. You should check it out. Well, anyways, uh, on the review, let me go back to, it was on, uh, there's a link to uh, a channel for the Metal Church album, and it's kind of cool because a lot of times you can look up and you find a whole album, someone download a whole album on YouTube, and it's easier, you know, and you can sample it and see if you want to buy it, you know, and it's cool, and uh yeah, the Metal Church album was awesome. It's just weird because there's so many ads in that link. I don't remember them ever doing that for a while. And then I start, I saw a movie from Troma. Had like four or five commercial breaks. And I was like, how the hell did they do that? You know? I think I saw it on Reckless Eating before. If a video so long, they put commercial breaks in. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. Well, anyways, the album was really good. There's lots of great songs on it. I like all the songs on there. And like my favorite Nightmare had to have been a song from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. And the weird thing about that is, uh, I don't know if it ever played in Nightmare on Elm Street because I know S.O.D. had the song Freddy's Dead. And uh, they even posed in Fangoria Magazine with Freddy Krueger. And I, I, all of a sudden, they didn't put the song in the movie. They decided to have Dawkins for the Dream Warriors out, uh, movie, do the song Dream Warriors, if you remember that from the third movie. And I don't know if the Metal Church was in that. They might have been in one of the Freddy movies. I'm not sure. But it's clearly they talk about Freddy and scratching outside the doors. It had to have been about Nightmare on Elm Street. And they do a great cover of the song Highway Star by Deep Purple. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I really enjoyed that too. It was a lot of fun. It's a great classic metal album. Uh, I definitely give it a 9 out of 10. Very good. I mean, very, uh, very well available. Blah, blah, blah. The vocals are fantastic. I mean, good heavy beats. It's a good thrash album. Well, metal thrash album. Not complete thrash, but like a cross a combination of the two. And so I was heard that they were touring with uh, Metallica at the time, and they were outperforming Metallica, you know. And it's a great album. And like I said about the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, just like even, I'm going off tangent again. I know Alice Cooper did The Man with the Golden Gun, and that was never in the movie. But that was a good song, too. So it's quite possible they could have done a movie for Nightmare on Elm Street and didn't get put in a movie, I assume. I'm not sure, though. No, but I like Metal Church. They, did, they just never got the respect they deserved. They're a very underrated band, and they're a very good band. And like I said, 9 out of 10 for the classic first album, Metal Church, by the band Metal Church. And then special shout out to Diggity Dave. and Cheers. Take care of my legion and stay metal. Also, we're talking about kids, talking about metal, right? Well, I told you about that kid saying that, you know, he never heard Iron Maiden. Well, the kids don't talk about metal anymore. Just like that uh, piece of crap uh, specialist in the army, he took that uh, thing, he downloaded all this, all these secrets for WikiLeaks, and he had like a blank CD-ROM, and he said he didn't want to raise, want to raise any suspicions, so he put wrote Lady Gaga in it and just pretend like he was listening to it. That would have rose, I mean, when they went to security, that would have rose suspicions in me. I'm like, Lady Gaga? What the hell are you listening to this shit for? Where's the metal, well, where's the Iron Maiden? Where's the Slayer at? Where's the ACDC? What about some Cannibal Corpse? What, why are you listening to this for? You're a guy. Oh, well. <laughs> Take care, my legion. I get all worked up over shit like this. All right. But I love metal, and uh, thank you for, it brought me back some, because 
I really miss the 80s. Things today, there's not there's not much fun. There's so much more freedom back in the 80s and the very early 90s and stuff. And metal was like a big indication of that. It's just not the same anymore. So, take care, everybody. And a sip of pop.